So, look, we got some voicemail callers, though. So, I'm not going to cut to the news just yet. We got to hit some voicemail callers. We only got one of them, but he was, he had a really good point. Let, let's go ahead and hear what he got to say. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, it's Keegan Snow. What's the deal? My at is Keegan underscore dot snow on let's Instagram. Do it. And I'm just, I'm here to say that Kansas City Chiefs are the greatest football team to ever set foot on the turf. Mm. If you can go two Super Bowls and one Super Bowl loss in the span of four years and makes what? Yeah, four Super Bowl appearances in five years, then, oh, my God, you have got to be one of the greatest teams ever. Yeah, and I, fine. I am saying this. I'm putting, I'm putting right now, on the track that Mahomes is, I'm putting him above Brady. Mm. I know that's a little early, but I'm doing it, mm. and I got my money on it. He's going to be an eight Super Bowl winning quarterback. Ooh. He's going to win eight or more. He is the greatest quarterback ever. Get put on turf. Mm. It's insane. We didn't have any assets this year. No wide receivers. We mm. got McCole Hardman back in the halfway through the season. And he wasn't SHIT through <laughs> half of it. He finally made his appearance, maybe in the Baltimore game in the AFC Championship. Mm. But dude, we had absolute donkeys like <laughs> MVS and oh my god, the other dude forgot his name. Kadarius. Is totally that irrelevant? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, man, Patrick Mahomes. Greatest quarterback of all time. Better than Joe Montana, Elway, all of them. Three Super Bowls. And he's on his way to his third Super Bowl in a row. He's going to do it. Mark my word. All right. Keep your snow. Out. Mm, man oh that that was nice okay all right snow look that that was a great take there and i agree with you on about probably 85 percent of that um definitely the part about pat mahomes pulling something together when they did not have any help on the receiving end until maybe the postseason where they started getting small doses of help from the receivers and stuff like that but early on in the season i agree man it looked bad for the chiefs this is probably one of the worser or one of the worst Chiefs teams um, that have won a Super Bowl when you look at 2020 and, what, 2021 or something, or last year, last year. Yeah. When you look at the teams that they've had in a personnel sense, yeah, this is not one of the best teams that they've had. Defensively, was definitely solid, but offensively, in the weapons that Pat Mahomes had that he turned into greatness, yeah, definitely made something out of nothing. The, the part where I disagree with you, and I, I'm being picky about it, obviously, but... The greatest team to ever touch a football. This has been an ongoing conversation. Maybe you listen. Maybe you've heard the other takes about it. But the greatest team to ever touch a football. I think it's it's at this point, indubitably, the Miami Dolphins. Man, this team, to, to just, I, look, to go 14-0 and 0 and then capitalize by winning a Super Bowl is just something that has never been replicated in the NFL. And it's insane because it, that's tough to do. That's tough to do. The only team that's come close was the Patriots in 2007, but even then they couldn't get the Super Bowl completed, bro. So, you know, it, hey, we had this debate. You got to go back and listen to some of the other episodes about the greatest football team to ever touch a football. But man, hey, this Chiefs team, definitely not it. But I think the Chiefs as a whole, one of the elite dynasties that we've seen in the NFL for sure. So 1000% agree with you on that. And overall, bro, definitely a solid take. I appreciate you for tuning in. I appreciate you for calling. Now, look. Look, we got some news coming up. Um, obviously, a bunch of different things. Uh, some The All-Star break just passed. Um, we're not going to touch on the All-Star break, but last thing before we cut to the news is, bro, Jalen Brown had no business being in the dunk contest. He had no business making it that far in the dunk contest. And it was, it was, it was kind of bad. I think the highlight of All-Star weekend was Steph Curry and Sabrina shooting threes in the three-point competition in its, in its entirely because... It was it, everything else was just kind of shaky, bro. The All Star Game, I didn't watch it, but I heard it was shaky. Um, the Celebrity All Star Game, I heard it was pretty entertaining. I seen some clips, watched a little bit of the recap, seen it was entertaining. You had uh, Michael Parsons balling out, getting MVP. He did his thing. But look, man, we got some news for the run coming up. A couple different things, and then we got two more topics, a few more topics to touch on. But right now, it's halftime, so we'll be right back. It's halftime. 